what's up guys Rahul here from Gizmobite and today I'm going to show you how to install and play Pokemon Go on your Windows PC or laptop or even a Mac. This will also include location spoofing, teleporting and walking around using your keyboard. Let's begin. So you will need two things for this. The first is the Nox app player. So head over to the first link in the description which will take you to this page. As you can see it can be downloaded for both Windows and Mac so choose yours. The next thing you're gonna need is the Pokemon Go APK. So head over to the second link in the description which will take you to APK Mirror. Download the latest APK. Now hit the Nox installer. Since I already installed it, I'll just quit. But you have to agree to the terms and agreements and keep clicking next. Open up Nox once it's installed and you'll notice that it's a tablet-like Android layout. You have a list of icons on the right. I want you to hit the one with the APK and the upward arrow. Now locate the Pokemon Go APK and hit open. Nox will now install the app and even prompt it. Once the app is installed, it will start running it automatically. So I want you to exit out of it. Now reopen Nox again. Head over to the icons list and find the one which looks like a location pin. It will open up in this tab. Enter whichever location you want to. I'll just be in Sydney and hit OK. Now restart Pokemon Go. I'm quickly going to enter my age and my Google account. Uh oh, bad luck, servers are down in Sydney. Let's just change the location and hope I don't get soft banned. So I'm back and now in Manhattan and to my surprise I wasn't soft banned. As you can see it's a fairly decent layout and most of all it's completely stable. You have to use the WASD keys to move and the E and Q keys to change speeds. Obviously augmented reality won't work so you'll just have to turn it off. Well, got that Pidgey. So now I'll just demonstrate the speeds you can use and you can always update this game whenever the new APK comes out by deleting the older version and installing the new one. Well that's been it for this video guys. If it helped you out, hit that like button and do share the video as well. Get subscribed if you haven't already for awesome content like this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.